The Symbolic Math Toolbox in MATLAB also includes the ability to perform Laplace transforms and inverse transforms. To demonstrate these, we'll first create some symbolic variables. I'll call them t, a, and b. And then we'll make the symbolic function, lowercase f, And we'll take the Laplace transform of lowercase f, which we'll call capital F, using the Laplace function. Notice that when you use the Laplace function, MATLAB assumes that the symbolic variable t is the variable with which you want to take the Laplace transform, and s is used as the Laplace domain independent variable. Any other symbolic variables that appear in the transformed function are treated as constants. The I Laplace function then inverts the Laplace transform from the Laplace domain back to the time domain. And in this case, of course, recovers the original time domain function. MATLAB can also be used to solve ordinary differential equations. To demonstrate this, we'll create a symbolic variable Y and we'll tell MATLAB that y is a function of t. Then we'll ask MATLAB to solve a differential equation for y using the dsolve command. The argument of the dsolve command should be our differential equation. Notice a couple of important elements of the syntax here. Diff y t is the derivative of y with respect to t. And remember that in MATLAB, the double equal sign represents the equal sign, because in MATLAB, the equal sign is the assignment operator. It's something different. When we're writing an equation, we always want to use the double equal sign. MATLAB can solve this ordinary differential equation, and because we did not give MATLAB an initial condition, it results in an arbitrary constant of integration, which MATLAB calls C1. If we had an initial condition, we could then solve for the constant of integration. Alternatively, we can also enter the initial conditions directly into the desolve command. To illustrate this, I'll redefine y as a symbolic function of t. And now I'll tell MATLAB that dy is equal to the derivative of y, and d2y is equal to the second derivative of y. Then I can use dy and d2y in the desolve command. Don't forget to use the double equal sign when defining equations as arguments of the desolve command, and indicate the additional initial conditions as additional arguments to desolve. Because this is a second order ordinary differential equation, MATLAB can solve for both of the constants of integration if we give it two initial conditions, one for y and one for dy. The easy plot command can generate a figure showing the behavior of a function when that function is a symbolic function. Here, easy plot plots the function y, which is still a symbolic function, over the range of t from 0 to 5. Generating this plot did not require converting y from a symbolic function to an executable function. MATLAB evaluated it and plotted it for us. Chapter 2 of the methods text contains additional useful topics for review, including flow control, such as using if and for statements. If you're unfamiliar with those, or you don't remember how to use them, you should definitely review the rest of the material in Chapter 2 of the methods text. Now that you know how to use some of the symbolic math tools in MATLAB, you'll never again have to use hand calculations to solve linear ODEs. 
You can find their Laplace transforms, their inverse transforms, and find analytical solutions to ordinary differential equations and even systems of ODEs using the dsolve command in MATLAB.